I felt like Ricky Bobby, you know, when he come back from the crash. The fucker effect was real. Yeah, and the negative G. It was no excuse. I ran out of talent. I find the four-way stop signs here are completely stupid. I just wave at people whether it's good or bad. Yeah. I see a crash and I'm like, whoa, whoa, and they're just... No, no, <laughs> Tom, I'm coming. Stacking them deep, selling them cheap. It tastes like gasoline, rubber, and victory. We're just out here stacking packs. Hey guys, welcome to Spare Change. Stacking pennies here, All Star Edition. A lot of changes um, headed in North North Wilkes for this weekend. The biggest of which starts with new pavement over on that old worn out surface that we raced on last year. She gets a brand new coat and she's going to be fast. How much faster? Multiple seconds. I think two. Yeah. Really? Okay, I know the Super Late models were like a second and a half or something, but I don't know what they were running at the test. I didn't see. I didn't see it either, but Joey said it was very fast. How uh, how do you think that it changes the approach? I think you're going to see guys smash into each other. Really? Yeah, because last year you were just legitimately sliding around. I felt like you were driving on gravel the entire time. Well, the guy that dominated the race last year was Kyle Larson, right? His strong suit was keeping his left rear drive on the co- concrete patch. Mm-hmm off of four so that'd be different the other thing that's gonna be different is that kevin harvick's gonna be in his car for most of the weekend yeah is he gonna make it back for the race or no i don't know there's a he's supposed to but there's a chance that he doesn't make it back if there's weather or something that he doesn't make it back for the race so it'd be cool to see harvick back behind the wheel it would be haven't seen harvick behind the wheel of a chevy in a long time Mm. but that'll be fun i wonder if cliff yells at him probably kevin i thought you're better than this i need better feedback uh, the other thing, too, speaking about crew chiefs, they are going to have options this week. Soft, hard, and rain tires. Can you run rain tires whenever, or do you have to run them in the rain? Only in the rain. Only in the rain. But you have to start, I believe, on soft tires. I know that there's a man- there's a mandatory pit stop in the heat races, um, and then mandatory pit stops throughout the race. They say that these option tires might only last like 20 laps. Yeah. So I wonder- We've been pushing for some soft ones, so we'll, I'm, in, I'm excited to see – how those things perform i don't know um i would wish i wish they left the option tire hey put them on whenever you want to yeah i wish it was uh, i wish it was a true option tire because the thing is like when you make everybody start the race on one set and i don't there's one ideal i don't want to be too critical general. because i don't understand how many sets we're getting or any of that but yeah when when you just leave it open to interpretation like the tire wars used to be back in the day like then it gives you a chance remember one of the all-time greatest all-star plays was when I think it was Frankie Stoddard was crew chief for, Martin. for Jeff Burton. Oh, was it and Jeff Burton or Mark Martin? It was Jeff Burton, I think. And he picked his pit stall right behind the start finish line when you had to make a mandatory pit stop in one of the stages. Yeah. And he literally did his pit stop and just burp. Yeah, so what they did, they picked, they like, say it's pit stall 18, it's right in the middle of pit road. So what that cut out was the pit road exit and back up the speed. So yeah. they just had to come in, nail the pit stop, and go across the line. That was. That was a great strategy, and everybody was like, "What? What just happened?" Um, yeah, because he, he was like, "No, there's no way," because he, he's not gonna pit. He crosses it with one lap to go, or whatever it was in the segment. He hasn't pitted yet. He's gonna get disqualified. No, he's pitting now, and he's just gonna roll across the line. Yeah, that was an all-time play. I know. I think Todd Ziegler, um, who's one of my tire changing idols, was changing front tires on that thing. So that was always a, a really cool like don't fact check me on the on the players of that but i think that it was frankie Sauter. that with, was one of the folk that's Jeff, folk Jeff. that's folklore that one goes down in folklore for mm-hmm. sure um i still do miss qualifying for the all-star race when those boys didn't have a pit road speed i don't because, well you didn't have to job you didn't well, have to jump because out in front just of like everything else it makes it all about you f-ing drivers right because like we had to stand on the wall and wait for you guys to stop and then jump out there and do it like like yo give us one thing Give us one thing to do all year. No, yeah, you got pit stop. But now even the picker competition, I'm my ass a little chapped about it because now it includes you guys again, right? Instead of just last year being a pit stop competition, you got to go out there and you guys got to go out there and make a lap. That's it. That's why I brought the world's smallest violin in here as a prop. I love it. Because I use that every week. That's it. <laughs> I can't, you better keep it in reach for me too. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do wish that it was like the like last year was like the old Unical seventy six pit competition. Um which did you know when when do you think the pit crew competition started? What year? Nineteen eighty one. Nope. You know I know who won in nineteen eighty one though. Who? Wood Brothers. But uh 
1967 mm. was the first pit crew competition and it was a two tire change and it wasn't until 85 these boys behind me turned into a four tire change mm, junkyard dogs the junkyard dogs but yeah it's it's been a it's been really cool last year was so much fun having it back that way i do love pit stop qualifying but i wish that it was um that it was also the way it, like i wish we did two separate things like like we did mm. last year too, pit competition and pit crew qualifying, or maybe like the top ten from All Star qualifying go into just the pit competition. The year that we did it at Texas side by side was sick. That was I made we made it to the finals. We lost in the finals to the eighteen just on the like the they the they lane choice. Tricked it. Well, the lane choice, but they also stopped real early in their box, like three feet shorter, and then they launched but we launched at the same time when we launched i thought we actually beat them and they they it was so much fun though that was like head to head was pretty cool that was maybe when i'm done and i look back at it that was one of the most fun things mm. that we did uh ever well what i love about these next two weeks close to home sleeping in your bed fans are coming in from out of town you got a lot of shop tours i think we have our fan day at spire may 23rd give or take so the week of the 600 and get an autograph also, hey, if you're around here and we're around the Nonsense Garage, stop in too. Don't knock on the door because we'll be recording. But we'll be around. Scope it out. Come see the seat shop. A lot of friends coming in town. North Wilkesboro week. Coke's a Hunter week. Yeah. It's a lot like, of stuff going on downtown. A lot of stuff going on in Mooresville. Come out. Scope it out. Fun. The most fun time going on down here. I love these two weeks. The old memory, old Speed Street days. And oh, it's awesome. It's It's great. Uh, all leads us right up until Memorial Day, one of our favorite uh, holidays. One of my favorite holidays slash drinking days of the year. Buddy. Yep. Yep. So that's it. Hey, what's your favorite, real quick, what's your favorite all star race moment ever? Uh, when they all piled them up in turn one because it was raining. And they pulled the cars back oh, up. Oh, so good. Mine's T Rex. The, the story of T Rex. Didn't, and, didn't Jeff, Jeff Gordon win that? Yeah, he unloaded the back of a car, went out and won. Yep. I think it was like, if you look back at that, Latart was like the one unloading the car. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was that was my like I was like, what is going on? They all piled in there. Some other good ones was like when Kurt and Kyle wrecked each other. Yep. Uh, there's it's just been, I I don't know. I love the All Star Race in North Wilkesboro, but there was something about it at Charlotte that was one cool hot too. night, buddy. It was one hot night. It was one hot night. But we're gonna uh, have one hot night here on Sunday though. It's gonna be good. I'm stoked. I think the dude. new asphalt is gonna have the speed in which it's gonna look like. Remember old Richmond when it was repaved when you know the the Kyle Bush and Dale Jr. wrecking each other because now you don't wreck anybody because you're going so slow and the track's so abrasive. When the track's got grip and you've got multiple lanes, you're going to get guys smashed into each other. Dude, and just think about the progression North Wilkesboro has gone through in the last three years, right? It was nothing. It mm -hmm. was overgrown. Yep. And those guys go clean it up to, to, to scan it for eye racing. Dale Jr. and Kevin Irelli and those guys. And then, hey, you know what? We can have a short track race here. We built the street stock and the seat shop for that. And now... We got the dang all star race. race. Freshly repaved. New paint. I, the stock is high for Wilkesboro, and I am pumped to get there. If you're a fan and you're in the vicinity, good luck getting a ticket. Yeah. But it's worth it. It is worth it. Um and somebody else who he's not gonna get some he's not gonna get North Wilkesboro experience. Maybe he is, we'll ask him, but we talked to him on Tuesday. Get the full interview of SVG coming right up, talking about Darlington, talking about Dover, talking about his American experience, and rumor has it we have some hush puppies here to try. Hey guys, we're back. Joined in studio right here, our good buddy SVG. Joined Stacking Pennies again. Had to get him on. It's been a couple weeks. Uh, you've had a taste of some full-on North American ovals. Going, you've been to Darlington, or you went to Dover. Yep. I wanted to touch base with you. Talladega. Talladega. <laughs> and Texas. Yeah. And Texas, Kansas was in the mix as well, but particularly Dover and Darlington were probably two of the most gnarly ovals that we have to offer in the states one of which darlington this past week you did top 15 finish round of applause <laughs> with absolutely not a lap before the race yeah so let's just talk about this weekend the lady in black i'm sure you had some sim time i'm sure you watched all the film you could possibly do but nothing gets you ready for darlington until you see it yeah and your first lap was at speed <laughs> yeah, were you like what the hell am i son all the stuff you just said like it's been a a really tough five or six weeks it's all the tough tracks the dovers texas i found really difficult and then 
Darlington as well. But um, yeah, on the weekend, I was pretty gutted when it rained out on Saturday. I went down, did the track walk, and I'm like, this place is pretty narrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't really sort of get that on TV. And then when you're out there and you're too, too wide, three wide we were once, it's... In three and four, somebody all the way in the bottom. Yeah, it's, um, it's a narrow, scary place. So. Have you ever s- slid around a car as much as you do at darlington uh yes and no like the track we got a track in australia called perth that was like that used to be before it got re resealed and um yeah the tire dig but okay. for only two corners to drop three seconds a lap like it's ridiculous <laughs> yeah how how much the tires dropped off what's the comfort level of like running that close to the fence because you guys don't have to do that in the no nah, so i preferred the inside of the track but yeah getting up on the wall at three and four um, well, you're still, also used to right-hand drive. Yeah, driving on the yeah, different side too. of the car. I don't have the best depth perception yet of the right side. Getting better every week, but mm-hmm. I could get to the wall, but I couldn't do it the whole corner like the really good guys do. So I could get there and you kind of like feel a bit, but... Do you feel like the car is way further out than what you expect or... It's the right the rear because the cars skew so much, yeah. right? So you get, get a good visual of the right front. You can sort of see to the right, but you can't tell because these rear ends move around so much the rear is kind of variable it's yeah in an xfinity car especially yeah and sure then when you touch the wall it swings the front end it's, yeah um, how many stripes did you get i got two yeah two but, one decent one i don't mean that's, that's not bad or i wasn't trying hard enough maybe but no i felt bad because i scratched it and i left the track every single car was wrecked pretty oh, much for sure <laughs> everybody that's, says like good job on a top 15 but i wonder if you're frustrated with the top 15 or not I was a little bit, yeah, because I felt like our car was good enough to be 8th to 10th, but yeah. I struggled on restarts. It was, like, super tight, and I struggled, especially at 1 and 2, when I started on the inside, and someone was on my outside, so the car would be tight, and then someone would get there. Way loose. And it just start getting free on me. Like, I just I'm still trying to understand the way the air works, and then when you're on the outside, it kind of sucks you around and helps, but doesn't make you loose. It's it's bizarre how the air works at trial by fire here yeah with, sure. with no practice too of all i mean that too yeah. yeah so i felt like ricky bobby you know when you come back from the crash and everyone's going what were those the other cars <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everyone at the start was just flying just give me some time here. yeah jesus yeah. <laughs> took me a bit to get comfortable and then so take me back to dover your first laps around there you said that place was interesting too yeah well, even walking like just the banking and then but you'd sort of drive into the corner and there's no grip because there's as it falls into the corner and the car comes light which scares you and then the way it loads in so i'm still not fully comfortable with like because the car skews on landing so you get that feeling of the big heave yeah so i'm facing the infield thinking i'm spinning so i'm correcting that but it's just the car skewing so i'm correcting air basically and heading to the fence mm. was so there any of them that you went to that you were intimidated by when you first saw them? what's that sorry? like when you saw the track that you were like when you first got there like dover were you like yeah. oh sh-. oh yeah like the, pretty much everywhere i go like the sim doesn't on tv doesn't show you the banking like dover doesn't show you how much it drops down before it goes back up so if also, you're on, the simulator also doesn't uh yeah. replicate the pucker factor either. yeah yeah <laughs> and and the, the pucker factor is real yeah and the negative g like how much you sink into the seat like a, it's all these feelings you're never really used to you only feel like the side and you know i've said it a few times that's so no wonder everyone has bad backs here like the, <laughs> the load into the seat yeah. is real yeah especially at talladega and you drove the the, the cup car there yeah. and the ride is like you're <laughs> driving a brick qualifying yeah <laughs> i didn't know what was happening like they run the thing basically on bump stops and yeah. every little bump like first time i ever drove the car was qualifying and it's just it's like a go-kart yeah 300 k's an hour 200 miles yeah it's wild. that was a viral moment when they were telling you in feet how far people were <laughs> yeah. off you and you're like you gotta keep giving me car lengths i don't <laughs> yeah. know what a foot What's is a, yeah i know what it is but like you can't convert it while i'm driving no and, but no, then the worst thing was once three, i said 2. that 2.1 well yeah. i don't even know what the equation once is once i said that he goes okay now we're two car lengths one car length now it's a meter now it's a foot <laughs> it's, it's, it's even more confusing yeah. like, jesus oh, man yeah. pick one one unit <laughs> whereas um a normal spotter frankie he's pretty good at just car lengths now it's good <clears throat> yeah who yeah. have you found yourself going to that you can take advice from and apply it uh probably my main guys are kevin harvick and marcus marcus is marcus is good for keeping things simple like he knows you know going to darlington what i'm going to feel 
Whereas Kevin's like, yeah, you got to run low and then you got to run up by the fence. Like, like makes it sound so simple. Whereas it's all yeah. those little nuances of the car, how it's going to pull you on the brakes, how it's going to skew out. You know, Marcus knows I've never felt that stuff before or how you use the line or the transitions to, to move. So Marcus is good for the basic stuff. Kevin's good for the advanced stuff. And I kind of put the two together, but yeah. everyone here is really good for advice. You just got to pick and choose the little bits. When's the next cup race you're doing? Uh, Coke 600. So this, oh, next ooh, week. Yeah, this week off then. Sick, dude. How many kilometers week. is that? Like 2,000? Uh, yeah, that'll be 16, 1,700 over the weekend. Okay. Yeah. Are you bummed to not be in the All-Star Race this week? I know that there yeah. was some talk. About I don't know. I knew I was never doing it this year, but then I heard the hype around it and the you know that track and what the track means to everyone here. Why couldn't um, Why couldn't they make it happen? Well, I think AJ's in the 16. He won a race last year. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. That makes sense. Uh, are you going to go? No, I'm at a oh, you're in Red Bull um, Scramble race on the beach in New Jersey. So it'd be cool to go watch that. Yeah, well... Yeah. how's the overall off the racetrack you were about a third of the way through the season give or take yep if you had to give yourself a rank like a like a, a report card uh well results wise probably a b like it's been okay. been just average i think nothing special nothing i would disagree with that i think you're doing yeah. good man thanks but off track it's a plus like i'm having a ball every week something different new challenge people are awesome racing's awesome fans everything's it's really cool. Like I'm ha yeah. having a ball and I'm a third of the way through the season. I've done a whole year's racing that I would have done back home. So really, wow. it's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So and more sim time, right? You don't even have a simulator back home, right? No, not, not a, like to not this like one. the tech sim. No. So yeah. You wear that thing out? Uh, yeah. So this morning I was in it doing um, like the wheel force testing. We went and tested at Sonoma and yeah, that's some of the craziest technology that I've never heard of before when they put the the wheels that measure how much grip and it's um, so yeah you drove the, you drove the, the chevy wheel force car yep. on the re newly repaved sonoma yeah just to learn a little bit of chatter about the asphalt there yep so what were your there. observations uh well just the tech like um the track was cool but like each how much they told me how much it was worth it's each like a quarter million dollars per wheel right per wheel and my second run i went off and I was oh no like, oh. <laughs> So where'd you go off at at turn one so i hit a oh. bump there was no excuse i run out of talent but hit a bump and it bottomed and it just sent me straight up the hill to the right to the right yeah and i was just like oh you're hauling ass right oh, there I was too. Scared. but um it's crazy and then you know seeing what they do with that tech how they put it in the sim and then make it feel like the real car and mm. it's amazing and it's all hidden from the public yeah it's yeah. a bit disappointing it's all this cool stuff you never see yeah what a lot, do you think a lot of the ip track? the track is awesome yeah. so this what i find the best about the american tracks coda aside um like watkins they're proper big balls tracks and the walls are right there like no runoff yeah. no room for error and you gotta tighten the belts and have a go so the tracks are starting to be like that in australia the new ones europe they're all so much runoff whereas here yeah you make a mistake you pay for it even mm. sonoma with a runoff like if you run off you're still screwed you know, yeah, like turn the, 10 there down the hill is yeah the, the first few times down there at speed like with the new seal, you're, it's four seconds faster than last year or something. Four so, seconds? Yeah, and no real tire fall off as well. So it's like Hammer pushing down. every lap. Wow. It's Yeesh. really tough. Yeah. That'll be fun. That would be fun. I wonder if that'll have a, like you talked about. Who drove the four? Effect. Who drove the four? David four? Reagan. Okay. And then mm -hmm. Jax Hawkworth, Hawksworth was in yeah, the Yeah, in the Toyota. So. Who was the fastest? Uh, we were all pretty close. Come on, two Toronto horn, man. <laughs> uh, have you, we talked a little bit about um, last time you getting the bird for the first time have you have you given out any birds you've had any run-ins with anybody no, i just seen? i just wave at people whether it's good or bad yeah some people were waving at me even on the weekend so <laughs> hey how you cool. doing <laughs> <laughs> things are looking up yeah is there any is there any uh nuances that are different driving on the road here like i get i've been getting honked at a lot in there must be a lot of yankees i'll stop driving down. like a but yeah people sit in the uh what's well, left lane here a lot and yeah and yeah. clog it up clog yeah it. yeah yeah that's probably uh, the that's probably my biggest those are the food. things that like moving from north to south that i see be a big difference so i can imagine what it like the difference in etiquette like just on the daily stuff like standing in line at the target or yep. like, driving like what it's like coming halfway across the world and seeing how different people yeah. act i find the four-way stop signs here are completely stupid like, <laughs> because you turn it's up a stare and off who goes who, who's going me going you going yeah, i just i just go <laughs> I just, I just <laughs> <wave again. laughs> i'm new here i'm going 
Oh man, yeah. did you uh, take me back to the Talladega Cup race in the draft? Was that as crazy of an experience as you thought it would have been? At the end, yeah, we we've spoken about that the day after, but people here are wired pretty different. I thought, I thought yeah. you were on. The, I thought you were on the show after Talladega. No, I don't no? think I have. No. Oh, we'll just yeah. tell the story then. <laughs> I, it was impressive the amount that people went out of their way not to push him. Really? <laughs> it was <laughs> obvious. Like, and yeah. there was a line because he, he would run the top, get some decent spots. I mean, I felt like you were in the top yeah. 15 a lot of, like, a lot of times. Yeah. It, people were just looking to just shuck you. Really? So he's <laughs> on the bottom. And if you're on the bottom, it's generally pretty safe. People started forcing the middle to try to not draft yeah, with them. Just left me by and I'm like three cars in the line that that shucked them, and I, I was legitimately between like, do I stick with the line? Do I pick up my friend Shane? Nah, I'm gonna stay with the line. <laughs> America, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> uh, yeah. like, what am I doing wrong? Why weren't he goes, yeah, you didn't, me? you didn't pick me up. I was like, I actually had a op- great opportunity to pick you up, and I just felt that it was principle. I had to stick with the line. Oh yeah. Sorry. man, yeah, those races are crazy. Like we're fuel saving just cruising and then after the stop everyone's flat out it's like two races in one but it's crazy yeah. but <clears throat> my biggest thing which i don't know if i have to change my mentality or what but i got sort of pushed out again ended up at the back of the front pack just hanging on right behind kyle and we come out of four and i saw the crash happening i'm like okay crash and he's like fast, gas it up tell him i'm coming furious down a gear Let's go into the shunt and just <laughs> holds it flat and crashes into everyone. And it, but he probably finished. Just, but he, he probably finished ten spots ahead of where you did. Yeah, he did. But I, I see a crash and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. and that just no, no. Everyone, Tell him I'm coming. <laughs> oh my that's gosh! From, and I'm crossing the line and people are still upside down and I'm spinning. I'm, just, I'm okay. <laughs> everybody, all right? Everybody, no, I care. Everybody actually, passing you to get to yeah. it. Yeah, I, actually, I care about my well-being, guys. Yeah. Was that Kyle Bush or Kyle Larson that you're from? Bush. Oh, yeah. Geez. So he he was the one who jumped out, and then we both went to the back. But he just like just went flat out into the crash. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> hey, when the white flag, buddy, the, yeah. the 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 next person you're gonna see is the checkered flag or Jesus Christ. Those yeah. are the only two options. It might take so, me a while to adjust to that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a little bit of a <laughs> a different mindset. Speaking of other Kyles. I'd love to get your perspective on this because your motorsports IQ is pretty high. What do you think? How do you think Kyle Larson does going to Indy? Mm, difficult because it's so. Um, <clears throat> I think it's quite tear dependent on the team's levels. I don't know enough about what his team's like, but McLaren, they're pretty good. I think McLaren. McLaren. Yeah, I think it's oh yeah, they good. are yeah. pretty good. Yeah. So I'm sure he'll be fine. But that racing is completely different again when he's, you know, it's not real pack stuff. It's managing the draft and. Speaking to Scotty a lot, that's it's pretty tough that place. So I'm sure he'll do well, but it's going to be very, very difficult for him. Mm. They get a lot of testing there, which will certainly help. But for sure, yeah. We'll see. You mean they're not going to let him rifle off first lap at the <laughs> 8500 with no practice? Like you? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. They, yeah. Good they luck. They give him plenty. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, even Talladega, right, with the Cup car, was like, go, go one qualify. Lap qualifying. Yeah. All right. See you yeah. tomorrow. Don't no, miss I was any gears. To qualify at the back. I was right in the middle again, but oh man. Thankfully, everyone just left me, so I was at the back. To start. <laughs> you got Talladega back though. The dog took a big dump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a great post that was. Yeah. I was laughing. That's right where Denny Hamlin ended up. So I don't know if he got anything we, on we his even, shoes. We we talked about that. I said, <laughs> yeah. imagine just absolutely annihilating the fence, and you step out right into a Ronald. <laughs> 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 oh gosh. Joining us in studio here, Ronald. What's he weigh? 130 pounds, 140 pounds? Uh, it was 122, 55 okay. kilos, yeah. It's a big fella. Big dog, yeah. Still growing. Is he? Yeah, he's not too. Yeah, you got to get... You said he took a big dump on the uh, colleague shop floor the other day. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Right what in front Chris, of everyone. What did, what did Chris Rice say? <laughs> he didn't see it. It's probably the first time he knows about it. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. man. We got it cleaned up. A little break cleaning a shovel. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we talked about, you know, when, when Ryan moved north to the south and how different the culture is. And we've talked to you very often about how different the culture is from Australia to North America, United States in particular, one of which is food. I talked about hush puppies. You didn't know what a hush puppy was. (laughs) It's not Ronald laying quietly on the floor. That would be a hush puppy. But a real-life hush puppy, I don't even know what's inside of it, but it's fried. You're going to try some hush puppies. They look real healthy. They are. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, All natural cornmeal, (laughs) fried and lightly used peanut oil. Here you go. Are they both the same? I don't really yeah. want one, but I'll take one for the sake of the show. Yeah, it looks safe. That one, <laughs> oh, none of them are safe. That's why we're eating. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. 
I bet the cholesterol in these things <laughs> is pegged, bro. I can feel it. <laughs> I already feel my blood thickening. You gotta yeah. love a good hush puppy. You're not gonna finish it? I'm not, no. Jeff made a special trip. I know. Um, and I appreciate the bite. One bite, everybody knows the rules. I thought uh, I thought about grabbing Ronald. Some... <laughs> there you go, Bubba. Oh. <laughs> He'll like that. I like that. I even thought about grabbing a. Uh, what do you think? It's okay. Give it a. Probably wouldn't give go it a another. One, give no, it a you're one not gonna go another. Scale. He likes it. We gotta finish this entire bowl before we leave. That's the deal. <laughs> what <laughs> favorite American food so far? Yeah, like if you were cheating a little bit on a diet. Love me some Wendy. Frosty. <laughs> do you like the what was that orange cream sickle or something? Frosty. Yeah. Do you like the normal frosty? Like the chocolate? normal one's better than the yeah. orange. I like a chocolate frosty. Now, is there any more American? than dipping your french fry into a chocolate <laughs> frozen beverage it's not something i've done before <laughs> oh you gotta try it yeah yeah you can, you can have it ronald hey buddy um what about pete you a pizza guy yeah i haven't had much here though mm. no. really no pizza not really all right well i had some in chicago party. last year that was all right deep dish yeah different different deal probably not the best pre-rise food no 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 carb but load pretty good that's part of being in chicago it helped you win so maybe maybe it is the might best. have to do it again yeah yeah i'm not a chicago pizza guy i don't like the, the thickness of only it. in mm. chicago what's yeah not called? even then what's that place called uh i forget but every time we go there we eat at that that one same joint but i'm a i'm a thing chinos Gino, no there's another one there's like jimmy's i don't know tom's moving on okay <laughs> what's up dude you want another hush puppy how's he liking it he's good now that it's warmed up yeah, yeah. when it was cold he because he from queensland would never didn't have cold there so he was struggling at the start but now he's good have you do you have pollen in yeah. new zealand like it is here so no, when i went off at freaking sonoma freaking no windows in these cars i got hay fever straight away and i was, <laughs> I was wrecked for two days really <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness it serves me right for going off was everything green there <laughs> yeah the yeah, grass because when we go back it's all I dead it's that. all brown it's like yeah. so much different i've never been there when it's green was that your first time out in like yeah, wine like country it's area pretty too? awesome countryside there. yeah cool it's place. crazy yeah it's ran crazy across, ran across the bridge and back that was awesome yeah. it's crazy how much it changes from san francisco then when you get up in the napa it's like whoa it's yeah. a totally different worlds yeah i like that, that so, place. so last week we had your your pseudo teammate daniel suarez on celebrating his u.s citizenship yeah and he has to and i'm sure you know all the deals you have to pass like a u.s history test right to get your citizenship okay he had a study he said he hadn't studied obviously since high school um <laughs> so i was going to ask you a couple united states questions to see Ooh. how you stack up for inevitable i hope you stick here around long, long enough to I'm where you get your, away from your u.s citizenship <clears throat> weren't you telling us that that you can only have passports to two countries because jess yeah, is going to have three yeah or has the opportunity to have three yeah she's got to have two yeah but she got her visa the other week okay yeah. congrats to jess yeah um first question who is this guy <laughs> i have no idea you can read oh george washington no you don't know who that fellow is i don't know he's the first president of the united states of america from when Not, uh, 1776 yep he's did you a, read that or you knew that i'm an american sir so i know about right. george washington he had wooden teeth he was actually born knowing Wo wooden that. De wooden really? dentures. i was actually born knowing that. <laughs> yeah he did he had wooden teeth Hmm. Um, I, I read something the other day made like 1300 gallons of illegal whiskey yeah, or right. illegal I don't know but who's going to argue with George Washington that's it okay so it looks like we have to brush up on our United States knowledge a little bit study that one. what's the next one what's the next US question <sighs> who's the greatest baseball player to ever live <laughs> yeah, his name is the know, great this, Hambino this guy right here <laughs> from the movie Sandlot, you ever seen oh, no, it? I haven't seen it. No. The great Bambino. I couldn't even name one baseball player. Babe Ruth. Oh, I know that name. Okay, yeah. so he, he's the he's the greatest. Calls a shot like this. What about? Do you know the name of the NFL championship trophy? Do you know what it looks like? The football on top with like the <laughs> the like that like the Super Bowl. Yes. Game, yeah. If you win the Super Bowl, you get a trophy. I didn't know it last week too, but then when he said it, I remembered it. Oh yeah, it's the Lombardi Trophy. The Lombardi Trophy. We got, let's we give that. him. Let's give him a low hanging fruit. <laughs> oh man, I don't. What is a low hanging fruit? What does DC and Washington DC stand for? That's not. That's not. 
That's not easy. That is not easy. That is easy. No, it's not. District District of Columbia. Damn, this is stuff, man. I don't know. I'm nervous for your American <laughs> okay. test. Okay. Yeah, how nervous. many? How many? How many states are there? Ooh, sixty. Close. Uh, ten heavy. Fifty. Okay. There's okay. There's there's forty eight that are like you know in the landmass, right? Then there's Alaska. Then there's Hawaii. Yep. That aren't connected. Forty eight. Close. Yeah. Um. Why don't you ask us some New Zealand questions? <laughs> yes. <you> <laughs> Take me a bit to think of some. Okay. I want you to get one right because I'm, I'm trying Broden to make Barrett. It. That's my first answer. See, look, I know something about. <laughs> oh, I would have Australia. absolutely. I'd barely have hard enough time for U.S. questions, let um, alone New Zealand. There was a guy. Do you never watch the All Blacks documentary? Oh, it was great. The, Dude, it was the, the All In? Yeah. Yeah. All or nothing. Yeah. I love it. Um, what is the unofficial dog of the united states it's a lab <laughs> like a golden labrador uh, i got i got what's golden the what's retriever. the golden, golden retriever. retriever yeah yeah oh. um, there's a lot of them here yeah what is what's the state like the national bird you know this one you know this one i don't know this one. <laughs> i think you do <laughs> bald eagle, yes. bald eagle. <laughs> ding 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 yep, we, got go. we got it guys one. okay if we're, nothing else we've man. learned today we have learned i need to study up no where we're, I live. we're gonna give you some more we're gonna give you some more tricks mm. each and every week because we're gonna ace this citizen what's it five <laughs> years six years i think it's five yeah then you get your, your do you have any card. interest in doing that what do you think yeah i think so if you're here long enough hey buddy how's it going <laughs> <laughs> hopefully you'll be yeah. contending for championships by then so yeah. you have to yeah, stay hopefully. that's the plan right a lot of, How lot long of has Daniel been here? Eight, ten years? Ooh, he's, Seven, no. eight? Oh, he's been here more than that. Oh, that oh, he 11, drove, we were talking 11 about 11 it. or 12. No, like 13, because we were talking about it. We were here the first time he came up, and that was 2011. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a while so ago. So 13 years. 13 you know? years. Yep. He's been doing it. Cool. Um, <clears throat> I had one other thing. Uh -oh. oh, a little bit, little bit of uh, rumor chatter of uh, charters. You got... SHR murmurs <laughs> front ropes track house they've got yeah. four drivers and two cars you know with Zane and yourself uh are you in those conversations or are you just like hey man handle it and you just yeah give me a drive I keep to the side like yeah. I know I'm here for a learning year then you know the objective was cup um but that was months ago when that happened so yeah I just keep those to the side keep doing my thing but yeah obviously you read it all and ha naturally you wonder Mm -hmm. how it's going to fall but if i just keep doing my job and keep getting getting better so I'll, I'll be there spinoff question how much you talked about how much the xfinity car moved around and how surprising it was how rigid the cup car was yeah how much does the xfinity car help you or is it just being on the track that helps you more than actually being in the car yeah it's probably just the track learning the races the formats and next week will tell me how relative it is when i jump in the car at coke 600 and see what the cup cars are like on the oval yeah That'll tell me how much I'm learning and how much it's worth, you know. But I'm, from what everyone says, they drive completely different yeah. off the front tire instead of the back, and probably going to be more comfortable doing it that way. I, mm -hmm. I hope straighter. Yeah. So, because it's like driving on dirt on tarmac at the moment. It's a crazy feeling. So, let's see. Well, I think you're doing pretty good. I think uh, I would give I would I'd give you an A, man. You gave yourself a B. I'd give you A. Just from somebody Thank coming you. in, it's completely different car you have ever driven new tracks you've never seen before a lot of time without practice i think you're doing pretty damn good Cheers. keep it up i'm sticking with a b i think that you're i think that you're a world-class guy and you're i that's why i had that conversation this week i think that you expect to be i said i think that he's okay right now learning but the second half of the year you'll want to be yeah that's one thing consistently especially when i go back to the tracks i've been 11? to. yeah 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 were you 11 weeks in yeah yeah, yeah 11 i think so Cool. Second time around. Hopefully yeah, that's right. The results will come. Yeah, you got your notes, got your feel. Let her rip, buddy. Yeah. Thanks for popping by and giving us updates. Cheers, hope guys. You enjoy, hope, hope you enjoyed your hush puppies. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Wendy's we French fries. Time. That's yeah. right. <laughs> All right, guys, that's SVG right here in the Nonsense Garage. Always love it when SVG pops by to give us his update on his American venture. Back to North Wilkesboro. I heard you got a story. I got a good one. What do you got? 1979 Holly Farms 400 was scheduled to be run September 30th, mm -hmm. but heavy rain plagued the whole week, the whole race weekend. Qualifying was was washed out. And then on race day, the sun was shining, 
but it had rained so much that the earthworms and night crawlers all came out from the ground and covered the racing surface. What? So they had to cancel the race. What? Yeah. They had to cancel the race. According to reports, the slimy creatures came out by the millions, clogged the drain pipes, covered the racing surface. There was no way to clean up the mess to get in time to get the race in. So uh, as a result, the race was rescheduled for their first available weekend, October 14th. Bobby Allison dominated the race, mm. but him and Jaws, Darrell Waltrip, got together late. Benny Parsons. Oh, yeah. Took home the win. The Wilkesboro native. That's his. Uh, I'm sure the people were going buzzer. Yep. And that was his lone win at his home racetrack. So that was a crazy story, man. Could you imagine if there was Twitter back then? We would have gotten lit up. Would have got lit. What are you going to do? Well, Damn it, NASCAR. You didn't sift the soil for earthworm. <laughs> you didn't put your earthworm detailer out. <laughs> this is cup racing. You should know better. You know it's earthworm season. <laughs> Everybody know that. Everybody know that. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a f- cool fun fact. I like that. Now y'all know. Now you know. Seventy nine. I feel enlightened now that I know that story. Now I've heard a bunch of stuff about the cicadas this year. Imagine if there's just a cicada storm. Just locusts. Oh no! Eating everything. Oh no! I'll stay in the. I'll stay in the hauler. We can't race. The locusts ate all the tires. <laughs> Only the soft ones. <laughs> We're back to a Damn hard it, the, tire. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all we got here for Spare Chains. Rolling into the All-Star Week. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good one. Continue to follow along with Kyle Larson's Indy 500. We got Kevin Harvick practicing and qualifying that five Chevrolet and getting ready. Hey, not up. a lot of vote for Corey's this year. Are you over the voting process? Yeah. You're done with it. I we just, made a push. I made a never push. Never got in the office. Now, if you don't make it in there on your own merit, yeah. you don't want to do it. That's that's where I'm you at. Wanna, you want to earn it. Yeah. I'm not even going to ask for it. If you feel so much inclined to do it, I'm not going to tell you to not do it, but I'm not going to make a push. Well, it was that year that it, I know what it was. It was that year that we made the big push, podcast yeah. on this, that, yeah. and, and then they voted in Eric Jones. Yeah. So That took a lot of wind out of my sails because I know good and well that there's – that guy's not out there p- pounding the pavement. No, he was sport. not. No, he was not going door to door asking for all star votes. And you were. And I was. I was you selling. Were, you were a man goods. of the people. Uh, and it wasn't enough. No, it wasn't. So I'm over it. So now you're going to earn it. And I think it's a little tacky. Too, like a to like a true red blooded American. You don't want it. You don't want nothing I don't given give it to you. No, nope, you want, want it to be earned. Yep. So we're going to earn. We're going to race like hell, not open to try to get our ticket punch for the all star race. So that'll be that'll be fun. Sunday, if, if it opens at five thirty, I'll say this though, just what? one credit. If you guys do vote Corey into the All Star race, he'll wear eye black for the race. I'd wear eyeliner for oh, the race. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> okay, you heard it here first. Yeah, uh, I think I'd put eyeliner on. I'll bring it with me. Yeah, borrow some of Carissa's. Okay. There we go. All Star race, eight o'clock on FS1, guys. The All Star opens at five thirty Sunday afternoon. Tune in, and thank you all for tuning in to Stagging Pennies. Goodbye.